So one, two, three, go, I guess. All right, so for the this is the Polywog with no accelerator, but it does have the 12 ounce drum on it. And so if you are having the problem of wondering, is this wheel too short for you? Or uh, would it hurt your back like having to hunch over? I don't personally, I wanted you to be able to see how I spin on it. I always sit on the edge of a sofa, either this sofa up downstairs or the one upstairs, and then I've got pillows behind me um, just kind of for back comfort, I guess. I always spin on this wheel way far back, so the orifice, like I said, I'm a pretty short person, but the hook is probably about the same height as my belly button when I'm sitting down, so it's still, you know, a good bit lower than like another, you know, if you're used to a wheel that's higher up, but I like, I don't spin with it like super close to me. I actually prefer the polywog kind of further back. And so that my legs are, you can see below this apron, at more of a comfortable angle and not so much like this. I like it further out, but then everybody's body and spinning is kind of different. But uh, when I spin on it, like, so this is with the 12 ounce drum, and this is some faux cashmere, so it should be really bright for you to see. I sit, and you can see I'm sitting straight up. My back isn't even on these pillows. But I'm sitting up straight on the edge of this sofa, and I'm spinning a lot further back from this hook. And so that way I can actually hold it further up, you know, from the hook. I mean, I'm probably about a good three inches higher, you know, where my hands are than where this hook is. And right now this is the long draw method of spinning. So you can see I'm kind of pulling it backwards and then walking it in. But you can also spin worsted this way, where you just keep your hands kind of docked higher, and then you're doing the pull forward on it. But either way, my hands are way higher up from there um, than you would want to be. I have the, any of the polywogs, because they've got such little drive wheels, uh, can take a good bit of tension. So if you're coming from another wheel, a different size wheel or a different brand to the polywog, you can really, you can turn the tension up I don't have it like super high just because I don't like mine like super high, but I do have it turned up a little higher than maybe normal and you'd want to adjust that. But see, it does pull and take the yarn in, but it's not a super strong like yanking it out of your hand. So you can see my hands, I kind of do the spinning and then I walk it, kind of walk it in. And I mean, there's definitely the yarn is tight. So it's not like it's droopy or, you know, if it was like droopy in here, then that would mean that, you know, you didn't have enough tension. But as long as it's, you know, in a nice tight line being pulled in, then, uh, you know, you should have enough tension on it. And like I said, I can sit, I mean, if I'm getting really lazy about it, <laughs> I could almost like lay back on this while I was spinning it. So you definitely don't need to be close to the hook when you're spinning. Um, if you're having tension issues, like, so this one, I haven't done that. I haven't ever had this problem, but the official suggestion on the website is to unscrew this all the way out, and you can take this tension block out, and it's got the felt on the top. You can uh, super glue, or I would recommend gl Gorilla Glue, some suede or leather onto where the felt, basically replace the felt with the leather, but that's on the inside. But you would unscrew this, Pull out the tension block all the way and, you know, make sure you keep your spring and your little plastic thing, you know, together and it doesn't like bounce across the room or anything. So keep that together. Take out this wooden block and you can replace the felt with suede or leather and that'll basically it'll give it higher friction pressing on the rod on the inside, which is what adjusts the tension. You can also, if the uh, felt that's on there just from use especially if you really have it cranked up, can get kind of smoothed out. You, they also recommend just every once in a while take the tension block out, like I just said, and then you can take sandpaper or anything rough and just kind of rough up the felt so that it's like, you know, poofy <laughs> again instead of smushed, and then put that back in. And that's just some basic wheel maintenance. But uh, with, like I said, you see there's no, uh, no accelerator. So, I mean, it is a short little wheel, but, I mean, I super comfortably spin on this thing all the time. That's my uh, suggestions on that.